Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Good morning, sir. So before we start, let's have Ms. Teraniano for the prayer. Okay, classmate, are you ready to pray? Yes. Yes, we yes. are. So let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Lord, God in heaven, thank you for the new day you bestowed upon us. Until this moment, we still have our borrowed life and strengthened from you. We worship and praise your holy name. This moment, we will continue to study and acquire new knowledge. May you bless your student with witty brain to think fast and inquiring mind to be curious in whatever knowledge they will learn today. Most importantly, Bless them with your wisdom and the heart that will follow your commandments in order for them to become worthy in their studies. You know that in these recent times, most are suffering from hardships and economic crisis. We humbly ask you to bless the parents of your students. May you shower your abundant blessings and prosperity to each of their homes so that we can use this not only for our daily lives, but especially for the performance of our duties to your holy name. We hope that you heard our prayer. We ask all of the, we ask all of these in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for that, Aniano. Now, is there anybody absent today, Miss Class Monitor? Miss Yvonne. Okay. Is there a classmate absent today, Jason? No, sir. No, okay. sir. Thanks for that, Dario. Before we start, let's play a game first. The game is called Name Me. The game is very simple. You just have to make words for the letters you see. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's start the game. Who wants to answer first? Anyone? Harold. Dario, how about you? Excuse me, sir. Can you please repeat the instru uh, the the instructions? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you just have to make words for the letters you see. Okay, let's have trial first. I'm gonna pick number one. Okay, so this is letter A. So I'm gonna think of a word that starts with letter A. Um, Apple, and then a name, Andrew. Okay, let's check. Okay, there it is. That's the correct. That is correct. Ah, uh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Understood. Okay, okay, let's play. Are you ready? Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, who wants to answer? Answer me. Go, Dario. What number are you going to pick? Two. 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 Okay. Oh, letter O. Think of a food and a name. O. Um. <laughs> is orange a food, sir? Yes. Orange is a food. The fruit. Okay, orange and Orlando. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Hi, Oliver. 
But still, it's correct. That's those are correct. Next, who wants to answer? Me, sir. Go, Jason. Pick a number. Number eight, sir. Eight. Why eight? It's the right number, Sean. <laughs> okay. So it's letter B. Think of a name, a thing, and an animal. Um, name is Bella. Okay. How about thing? Thing is ball okay. and animal that starts with letter B. B is bear. Okay, very good. Okay. Next, who wants to answer? Me, sir. Go, Harold. Me, pick sir. a number. Oh, let's have Harold first. Um, I, I will pick number 15. Okay. Letter S. Think of a verb, a place, and a food. Go, Harold. Um, as um, swimming. Okay. Um, place is. Switzerland. Would you mind, sir, if the, uh, uh, Switzerland or as as. A state or a specific place. It's okay as long as it's it's a place. Sweden in the place. Okay. And food is st strawberry. Okay. Thank you for that. That those are correct. See swimming pool. Seat salad. Okay. Next, who wants to answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go, Yvonne. Pick a number. Five. Five. Letter F. Five, sir. Five. Okay. And for the name? Faith. Very Faith, good. Sir. Thank you. Nice. Okay, let's have the last one. Who wants to answer? Me, sir. Me, sir. Me, me. Oh, let's have Anyano. You already I choose answered. number 10. 10, okay. Hi, okay. That's a lucky point. You have 25 points. That's a wow. lucky number. Okay, pick another one. I choose number 4. Oh, it's letter I. Any topic and two words that starts with letter I. Sir, may I answer? Sir, may I answer? Go, Dario. Any topic which starts I is interjection. I have two words. Yes, think of another two words. Interjection and... Any topic. Um, interjection... Um, immersion. Immersion? Okay, that's it. Another. Last one. Okay, let's end it na lang. 
Okay, so how do you find the game? It was interesting. First of all, the sir. game, it was interesting, sir, and fun. Okay. Very good. Okay, thank you. So before, um, remember our house rules? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I remember. Okay, what are those, Harold? Um, our house rules for today is all about life. Life stands for letter L, listen, letter I, interact, letter F, focus, letter E, enjoy. Okay, thank you for That's that. That's all. Now, are we clear of following the life house rules? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, before we proceed to our new topic, who can recall our previous lesson? Me, sir. Go on, Harold. Um, Me, sir. Our previous lesson was all about literal and figurative language. Literal language means exactly what it says, while figurative language uses smiles, metaf uh, similes, metaphor, hyperbole, and personification to describe something often through comparison with something different. That's all. Okay, thank you for that. Are there any clarifications about our previous topic? None, sir. And so far, sir. None, sir. Okay. So before we proceed to our new topic, let us first have another activity. I will give you um, pictures and you should answer the questions given below the pictures. Or I will give the questions after I show the pictures. Okay, so yes, I will show first the question, uh, the, the pictures, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. Okay, so who can tell me which of the two photos are more attractive than the other? And why? Me, sir. Me. Um, can I have another hand? Okay, Harold, go on. Um... The colored picture is more attractive than the picture with black and white color, sir. The colored picture has different colors. These colors are important to create nice mood on pictures. That's all. Very good. Those pictures have something to do with figurative language. If you still remember in our past lesson what is meant by figurative language, Dario? Hello, Dario? A figurative, figurative language helps the writers paint the picture in the reader's mind. All right. That is why I gave you colored and black and white pictures and I asked you which one is attractive. You have said that the colored one, the colored ones are the one that that is attractive. It is the same as figurative language. Figurative language points meaningful and colorful picture to every mind of the reader to be interested to what particular literary text they are reading. Now, can you guess what our lesson for today is? is? Figurative language, sir. Okay. Figures so, of speech, sir. Okay. So our new lesson for today is about figures of speech. In this lesson, we will be dealing with these following objectives. Please read, Aniano. The objectives. Identify the figures of speech, simile, metaphor, and personification. 
explain the use of the figures of speech, simile, metaphor, and personification. Write a poem using the figures of speech. That's all, sir. Thank you for that. We will also read a short poem written by one of the famous writers in our country. The title of this poem is Filipinas. In this poem, there are unfamiliar words that are needed to be unlocked. In order to unlock those words, let us answer this activity. So you, we just have to match the word with its appropriate meaning in column B. Okay. So number one, fervor. Who can answer? Me, sir. Me, sir. Me, sir. Go, Jason. Me, sir. Letter C, sir. Me, sir. Can you read the letter C? Intense and passionate feeling. Okay, fervor means intense and passionate feeling. How about number two, trample? Letter E, sir. Okay, the trample means walk on and flatten. Number three, radiance. What is the answer? Letter D. Okay. Letter D. Okay. Radiance means light or heat as emitted or reflected by something. How about the last one, number four, rupture? Letter A, sir. Letter A, sir. Letter A, sir. Okay, rupture a means feeling a feeling of intense birth, birth, pleasure right. and joy. Okay. Now, let me ask you, what is the title of our national anthem? Yvonne? Okay, very good. How about the composer the composer of our national anthem? Do you know him? Yes, sir. Yes, Who sir. Is Who is it then? Yes, sir. Jose Palma, sir. He is Jose Palma. Okay. Jose Palma. The composer of the Philippine National Anthem is Jose Palma. Now, can you read the, the paragraph? Who can read? Me, sir. Go, Harold. He was a Filipino poet and soldier. He wrote Filipinas, a patriotic poem in Spanish. It was published for the first time in the issue of the first anniversary of La Independencia on September 3, 1999. The poem fit the instrumental tune Marca Nacional Filipina by Julian Felipe, and it has been the basis for every translation of the Philippine National Anthem. Okay, thank you. For your information, the poem he wrote became the lyrics of the national anthem. During the American period, the poem was translated into English. And this is the translation that appears in this lesson. And I want you to read this poem for two minutes. Read it silently and analyze the poem as you read it. Okay, are you done reading and analyzing the poem class? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Did you understand sir. the poem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now answer these questions. Why is the Philippine called land of the morning and a child of the returning sun? 
Me, sir. I think um, Go on. Land of the Morning and Child, the Returning Sun would mean a land where the sun shines all, almost always. Okay, thank you for that, Jason. Now, can you tell me why the Philippines is called the cradle of noble heroes? Who can answer? Sir. Me, sir. Me, go, sir. go on, Dario. A cradle is a baby's bed. Therefore, a land that is cradle of no noble heroes would mean a land where many heroes have been burned. All right. So are those examples of literal or figurative language? Those sentences? Those are, those are figurative languages, sir. Okay, very good. So the expressions in the poem you have just read are not to be taken literally. They are used to make the expressions more vivid and the reader is expected to apply the imaginative meaning rather than the literal meaning. These expressions are called Figures of speech. Have you heard this before, class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So figures of speech do not make sense if applied literally, but they paint vivid pictures when their imaginative meanings are applied. There are many types of figures of speech, but today... We will only discuss the three commonly used figures of speech. These are the simile, metaphor, and personification. Okay, so which among these three types of figures of speech are you familiar with, class? Simile and personification, sir. Simile and personification, sir. Oh, okay. Now, let us know what simile is okay so can you please read the meaning of simile presented jason the meaning a simile is a comparison of two unrelated objects with the use of as or like okay um, thank you so sometimes when you make comparison you say as rough as a tree bark, like the heat of the sun, or like the smoothness of a rose petal, or as clear as crystal. When you say that the explanation is as clear as crystal, or the baby's skin is like a rose petal, you are making a comparison between two unrelated objects whose only similarity is in the clearness of the crystal or the smoothness of the baby skin and that of a rose petal. These comparisons are called similes. Now everybody please read the given examples of simile. Oh Harold, can you read the examples? examples? I, okay sir, examples. The mental twisted like a ribbon. The metal twisted like a ribbon. She is as sweet as candy. He like a flagpole. So oh, that's, thin. He's like a flagpole. Okay. Thank you for that. So you, we should remember that using like or us doesn't make a simile. A comparison must be made. So, for example... This sentence, I like pizza, it is not a simile, okay? So we should have, to, we should make a comparison in order for that to become a simile, okay? So this one, the moon is like a pizza, now that is a simile. Okay, so er, let's now go on to the second figures of speech, the metaphor. Okay, please read the meaning, Miss Yvonne. A metaphor is a comparison of two unrelated objects without the use of us or like. Okay, thank you for that. So some comparison can be made without using us or like. When you say the drumming of rain raindrops on the roof, 
um, you are comparing the sound of raindrops falling on the roof to the sound of a drum. Okay, so these are the examples. All the world is a stage. Men are dogs. She has a stone heart. Okay, those are those sentences is comparing two unrelated objects without the use of as or like. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Okay, now can someone yes, sir. give Yes, can, sir. Okay. So can someone give another example of metaphor? Me, sir. Go on, Harold. Um, example, our classroom is an oven. Yes, very good. So Harold compared our classroom, uh, our classroom to a hot oven. Our okay, that is very good example. Now let's proceed to the last figures of speech that we're going to tackle today, personification. So Dario, can you please read the meaning? Personification is giving human traits to objects or ideas. Okay, thank you for that. When you speak of things as though they were persons, you are using personification. So, in other words, personification is the attribution of a personal nature or human char characteristics to something non-human or the representation of an abstract quality in human form. So, for examples, the sunlight danced, the smiling sun, the flowers are dancing in the breeze. Now, can, can the sunlight dance literally? For me, no, sir, no. Sir. No, right? So, no, personification sir. is giving human traits to objects or ideas. So, that what makes, oh, that is personification. Now, can someone give another example of personification? Jason? The stars winked at me. Okay, very good. Maybe the stars like you, no? And if you wish, the stars will grant you your wishes. Okay. So, did you understand our lesson class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now, let's check your understanding of the lesson. So, um, Harold, what do you mean by figures of speech? Um... Figure of speech is a word or phrase that has a meaning other than the literal meaning. Okay, very good. Thank you for that. Now, Anyano, what are yes, sir. The, the three commonly used figures of speech? Okay, the three commonly used figures of speech are simile, metaphor, and personification. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. Yes, sir. Can you define simile? Um, a simile is a comparison of two unrelated objects in the use of as or like. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Dario, can you give me an example of simile? Dario? She is beautiful as you. Okay, so that's it. Okay, thank you. Now, how about a metaphor? Can someone define metaphor? Oh, Jason. Me, sir. Oh, go on, Jason. Okay. A metaphor is uh, a comparison of two unrelated objects without the use of as or like. Okay, now can you give an example of meta metaphor? Our classroom is an oven, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So how about personification? Who can define this?
Harold. Me, sir. Okay, go on. Aniano. Personification okay, is the attribution of a personal nature or human characteristics to something non-human or the representation of an abstract quality in human form. Okay, now can you give me an example of personification? Lightning danced across the sky. Wow, that's a very good example. Thank you. Okay, so now let's see if you really understand the lesson by playing this Simple yet fun game. This game is called Figurative Language Hangman. Let's read first the game mechanics before we play the game. Okay. Um, Harold? Can you read the game directions? Harold? Hello, do you hear me, class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and Yano, please read the game directions. Game directions. Read each hand and identify the type of figurative language that matches it. If you are right, letters will appear in the boxes. Try to guess the correct letter and get the correct answer. If you are wrong, the man will be hung. When you get the end, you will be rewarded with good deeds. Okay, now do you understand the directions, class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you familiar with Hangaroo? This is just the same as Hangaroo. Okay, let's play the game. Okay, so the hint here is words that sound like their meaning. Can you guess the answer? Or you can choose here in, you can choose what letter? Hello? Do you still hear me, class? Yes, sir. Okay. Aniano, can you pick a letter? A, sir. Okay. Another one. L, sir. L. Oh, no. There's no L. M. M, M. sir. M. Okay. Next. Letter E, sir. E. Ooh, I can already see the answer. O. 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 Onomatopoeia, sir. Onomatopoeia, sir. Very good. <laughs> this is onomatopoeia. P. Okay, that's onomatopoeia. Now, onomatopoeia is are words that sound like their meaning. We're going to tackle this sooner. Next question. This one. The hint is a comparison of two unlike objects uses like or as. Simile, sir. Okay, very good. Simile, sir. Simile. That is simile. Okay, next question. This one, we watch the blip on the computer monitor. Can you guess the answer? This is an example sentence. The word, the root, the keyword there is blip. Are you not familiar with these figures of speech? Personification, sir. Now let's try personification. Is there a letter P? Yes, there is a letter P, but the letter P appears to be in the middle of the letters. Meta. 
Can you guess the letters? Hyperbole. Uh, hyperbole. Hyper... No, that's not it. M, M. Okay, guess the letters. M. O. O, O. Okay. Onomatopoeia. <laughs> okay, so that's onomatopoeia. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, let, next question. This one, a large exaggeration. H. Metaphor, sir. No. Hyperbole. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's hyperbole <laughs> or hyperbole. Okay, now, very good. Now, let's... Next question. So, it is a comparison of two unlike objects and does not use like or as. Metaphor, Metaphor sir. sir. Okay, very good. Wow. And A. So, next question. This one. This is an example sentence of these figures of speech. Your eyes are diamonds. Metaphor, Metaphor sir. sir. Very good. Then let's have the last one. This one. Okay, I like pizza. If you don't know the answer, you can just um, guess letters. Implied metaphor, sir. No, it's a sentence. It's just a sentence. I like pizza. A sentence, sir. It's um, a type of language. Which we have tackled last lesson. Um, figurative speech. language. Figurative language. You can just guess the letters. Language. F. 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 I think there's no F. Oh, no F. I. I. Yes, there's I. A. A. Yes. No. Literal language, sir. Okay, Harold got that. Very good. That's literal wow. language. Okay, literal language. So that's it. Now, how do you find the game? It was fun, sir. Did you have fun? Yes, sir. Indeed. Yes, sir. Super. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. So before we have our activities, let us first go back to the poem you have just read earlier. Can you tell me the importance of the poem to the creation of our national anthem? Yvonne? Or anyone? Me, sir. Go on, Aniano. The poem became the lyrics of our country's national anthem. The meaningful ideas being described in the poem about our country ref reflect to the lyric of our national anthem. Very good. That's okay. Awesome. Thank you for that. Now, let's have a short ass assessment. Get one fourth sheet of paper. Oh, okay. No. I will just post this activity as an assignment in, your, in our Google Classroom, okay? And you just have to submit this. 
until 11.59 p.m. Okay, I will also post this assignment. So, there will be two classworks in your Google Classroom for today. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Now, thank you. Take a screenshot first. And before we end this class. Done, sir. Okay, this one. Encoded, sir. Um, you can have it handwritten and take a pictures and attach it to the classwork. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, are you done taking screenshots? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So, that's it for today. Um, thank you for your participation. Goodbye. You can leave now. Thank you, sir. Thank God you, bless. sir. God bless. Goodbye thank and you. thank you, sir Guarte. Goodbye thank and you. thank you, sir Guarte. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.